Hey guys, welcome to my video. Thank you very much for checking it out. I really appreciate it. Just want to give a huge thank you to these guys though, because they are the absolute best for supporting me on Patreon. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without you. So thank you so much. It means the world to me. If you want to check out my Patreon, link is in the description. If not, that's fine too. Other than that, enjoy the video. Hey, what's next? <coughs> hey, what's next? Uh, uh, uh. What? Heyo, it's Damo, and yes, straight away, this video is clickbait. I am still asexual, technically homoromantic demisexual, which means that I don't feel any sort of attraction for people until I get to know them and form a romantic connection, and then I'm like, oh, bish, I want to touch you. So yeah, th this is a clickbait title, but, like, wouldn't you? Like... I am gonna be talking about coming out as gay, so may as well get some views out of it. So I'm not coming out in this video, this isn't a coming out video technically, but I am gonna be talking about when I did come out as gay, because before I realized I was asexual, I thought I was gay, and I came out to my girlfriend at the time, my friends and my family, I told them all I was homosexual and then realized that wasn't quite the truth, but may as well, it pretty much is. Before we get into that though, I just want to say a quick thank you to Amino for sponsoring this video. This is it right here. This is Amino. This, this is it. If you don't know what Amino is, basically it's an app that has a bunch of different social networks within it based around different fandoms and groups. So there's like K-pop, there's an LGBT one. Hello very relevant. There's gaming, there's like studying, art, all sorts of things. There's so many different categories and so many different like groups that you can be a part of. Recently though, they added a new feature called stories, which are just these short videos that are really easy to swipe through with chapters and you can just kind of skip through, get some nice, easy, fun, entertaining content on the go. Isn't that what it's all about? This one's about ASMR in anime. Like, where, where else do you get that kind of content? ASMR in anime. What? I'm into it. I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of this feature, making lots of stories to keep you guys up to date, and it's also going to be perfect for little videos that weren't quite enough information to fill a YouTube video, but would be perfect for little bite-sized things like this. Ooh, fashion. Ooh. I'm actually going to make a story to accompany this specific video with a few extra tidbits and stuff like that, so if you want to check it out, check out the link in the description to get Amino. Follow me on there, it's really easy. Look, I'll follow this person. Look at me doing it. Look, I am crushing it, and they're followed. Easy. Done. Here's my profile. Look at it. It's glorious. It's beautiful. There's going to be a lot more stories on there coming soon, so definitely make sure to check it out. Give me a follow. Download Amino using the link below. And yeah, thank you so much to Amino for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Let's get on with the story. So as I mentioned before, I'm not technically gay, but this story is about me coming out as gay because I didn't quite realize what my sexuality actually was. It took a lot of thinking and experimenting and realizing and time to figure out that I was homoromantic demisexual and I mean it's not exactly something that society is pushing into your face going hey this is a thing you could be you could be demisexual most people don't even know it exists hence the reason I initially just thought I'm gay I'm a big gay so at the time I was actually dating a girl we'd been together for three years we had a really good relationship we got along perfectly and I legitimately loved her but we'd never been physically intimate beyond kissing, and I wasn't really sure why, I just didn't feel the urge. She'd mentioned it a few times, saying, oh, I wish we'd go a bit further, but she was very understanding that I wasn't ready to or just didn't want to in general. And I think we both kind of convinced ourselves that that was just okay and didn't really explore it any further. And as I said, we had a great relationship. I legitimately loved her. I still do love her as a friend. She's a fantastic person, and we were just very compatible, except for our genders unfortunately. <laughs> so we'd been together for three years, we were going strong, doing fine, still not really touching each other, but having a great time. And I went to an event where there were lots of friends, lots of people, and lots of alcohol. There were lots of alcohol. There was a lot of alcohol in the people. <laughs> anyway, I went to this event where there were friends, and there were alcohol, and the friends were drunk, and one friend in particular who was male began hitting on me. And I remember feeling a bit funny about it at first, and then realizing I felt funny about it because I actually felt something. And that was the first time I ever had. At first I didn't even realize he was hitting on me. My friend actually pointed it out and was like, dude, he's really like going for you. And I was like, oh, I don't think he is. Like, I think he's just drunk and clumsy. Like, that's why he fell and I caught him, etc. blah, blah, blah. And then my friend pointed out that this other guy had only had like one drink and he was not a lightweight. So he was putting it on a little bit and yeah, I think he was flirting with me. I don't, I don't know, I'm bad at signals. But my friend said he was, so I believed him. And that's when I went, oh, I'm kind of happy about that. That this guy is flirting with me even though I have a girlfriend and uh, in my mind I'm straight. 
why am I happy about this? This is conflicting help. And when I finally came to the conclusion that yeah, I'd probably go there if I weren't already in a relationship, I was like, shit. I've got some thinking to do. So the event ended and I came back home and I waited for about two weeks, did a lot of thinking, a lot of, just a lot of thinking really. I, there wasn't really much else to do. I just kind of thought and thought and overthought and then tried to stop thinking and then thought some more. And yeah, after two weeks of that, I finally realized I was not straight. I wasn't 100% sure I was gay, pretty sure, but I was 100% sure I wasn't straight. And that's when I decided to tell everyone because I've always had a really supportive family and friends group and I've never felt that if I needed to come out that it was something I needed to hide. So as soon as I came to the conclusion I was like awesome let's let's share the news. So I had my girlfriend around that day and we were just hanging out playing video games and all of that and as I was saying goodbye to her I told her what I'd realized and that it it obviously meant that I couldn't be with her. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, it was a shit moment. I laugh when I feel uncomfortable, which is a lot of the time. And yeah, she um, she took it well. She was hurt, but she was incredibly understanding. And I remember the words very vividly, I really want to be angry at you, but I can't because I know it's not your fault. And that was exactly what I needed to hear because it wasn't sugarcoating anything, but she was also being incredibly understanding and it was just raw and honest and it was honestly exactly what I needed to hear. So if you are watching this video, thank you for that. That was very helpful. So yeah, I sat on the driveway comforting her for a while, hugging her, being incredibly awkward. And that's when my sister came out and she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, oh, I just told her I'm gay. And uh, we broke up and my sister literally just went, ah, okay and walked up to our grandparents. <laughs> she couldn't give two shits that I'd just come out. Obviously she was concerned about the breakup and everything, but she was giving us space and all that. But about me being gay, couldn't care less. <laughs> so then because my girlfriend had driven around that day and didn't really feel up to driving back home, she also went up to my grandparents to stay there for a couple of nights and just kind of... Anyway, after all of that happened and she went up to my grandma's, I went straight into my house, straight up to my parents and said, I've just broken up with my girlfriend because I'm pretty sure I'm gay. I think those were my exact words something along those lines, and they barely even reacted. <laughs> As I said before, I've been very lucky to have an incredibly supportive family my entire life, so I wasn't scared of coming out, and they reacted pretty much exactly how I expected them to. Very minimally. <laughs> then we chatted about it for a bit, they made sure I was okay, they asked about the breakup, and the only remotely negative thing my mum had to say, which was still a positive, was that she's only upset because my life is now going to be harder. She wants the easiest life possible for her kids, and me being gay now means that my life will just be a bit harder. And she wasn't wrong, and it was a very valid concern for a parent, and I completely understood where she was coming from, and honestly, it felt nice to have that point of view covered and go, thank you for not being the person that causes the concern, but being concerned about the concern. <laughs> and then like half an hour, my dad made a gay joke. Uh, something along the lines of, be careful, you'll catch the gay. Haha, <laughs> too late. And it was obvious that he was comfortable with it too. So that's pretty much how I came out because telling my friends wasn't really anything. I was just kind of like, oh, by the way, I realized I'm gay. And they're like, okay, cool. Do you want to get coffee? Yeah, cool, let's go. <laughs> I did actually come out to my grandma on the same night, but I want to leave that as a separate story for Amino. So if you want to check that out, hear how she reacted. Did she accept me? Did she still love me? <gasps> Drama. Find out below, links in the description. <laughs> so that being my story, why did I tell it? <laughs> Basically, I just wanted to show that it's okay to be confused about your sexuality and it's definitely okay to take the time to figure things out. You don't have to be 100% certain 100% of the time. I literally came out as one sexuality that turned out to be technically wrong and I changed it like two years later and nobody cared. Nobody cared. <laughs> Again, I do have a very supportive family and I do choose to surround myself with very supportive and open-minded people. So that is part of why nobody really gave a shit that I came out as gay and then two years later came out as asexual or three years or whatever. They just understood. So if you're around understanding people and hopefully you are, then try not to be afraid. Try to just be open and maybe that'll be a good way to help you figure things out. Yeah. Don't really know what else to say. Hope everyone had a good Pride Month. It's almost over, but I, I, I did squeeze in one LGBT related video. Yeah. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to Amino for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check it out using the link in the description and watch my stories, including me coming out to my grandma. I'm not gonna do it in the, the story. I wish, that'd be fun. Other than that, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, fuck off.